Hello guys, welcome back to How to Rhino channel. Before jumping into today's tutorial, I'd like to invite you to subscribe to our channel if this is your first time watching as we upload new videos every week. If you would like to have this grasshopper definition so you can follow along with the tutorial, all you need to do is to leave a comment below and click on the first link in the description and we will send you the files right away to your inbox, free of charge. So if you would like to follow along, go ahead, leave a comment below and let us know where to send you the definition. Alright, now let's dive right in. In today's tutorial we will be remodeling a project designed by the Nuru Karim. It's a facade for the retail store located in the Guwahati in India and we will use only grasshopper. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Alright, so first we will create the line and we will reference it from the Rhino. Alright, so after that we're gonna extrude it along z-axis okay next we have to create the grid inside this surface so we have to create a grid like this using uh, using this component here rectangle so first we have to define the starting point and the plane where this grid is going to be located point will be here and the plane will should be something like this in this plane so this is the point and this is the plane this is the first thing which we need to Define. So we have to deconstruct uh, this surface and then find this point here. Let's see which of these four is the point which we are looking for. Zero, no, two, no, it's number three. All right. And then we have to find this vector here. The best way to find this plane is to create the closest, closest um, surface closest point. And this is the point and this one is the surface. After that we are going to evaluate the surface. So using UV UV coordinates and this this is the surface and okay as you can see we have this plane here but because this plane is flipped I mean this is one axis this is another axis and if we create if we use this um, grid component the grid even though we found this point here the grid it's going to look like this because this is the this is the vectors of of the of the plane which we just found so the solution is we have to define another point the point will be this one here all right so this is the plane which we are looking for and if we connect this plane here with the grid we got what we're searching for. After the other inputs, we need size of the grid cell, so both in both direction, and the number of grid cells in base plane x direction and in y direction. Basically, we need uh, these two. Basically, we need these two dimension here: this one and this one. This is U and this is V. Alright, when we 
got these two numbers those numbers means um, these two dimensions so u is here v is here and this is x and this is y direction of the plane this is 12 and this is 69.709 and so on because we need dimension of the of the individual cell we have to divide this dimension let's say to 50 this as i said this should go in in a y direction because green axis represent y and it should go here and this one should go here all right and the same thing for the for the x direction we don't need 50 division let's say 9 okay and i forgot to mention why we need these points here it's because they are going to be the attractors later for the extrusion and these points are you know, on the real facade are these points here and if you look carefully they are distributed like this and so on so to get this we have to call uh, this list of points At first we have to flatten them and to keep every second so this is going to be the pattern and those numbers should be even okay these are our attractors when we have the attractor points we have to um, divide our original surface uh, we can do by divide domain and the combination with the uh, iso trim okay Right now we have to find a way how to extrude uh, uh, each of these uh, cells based of the uh, middle point of each of these uh, surface to the closest uh, attractor point. For example, if we take um, this cell here and retrieve uh, the middle point and then we will find the closest attractor point which is this one here and based on the distance between them uh, this cell will extrude in this direction okay these are the control points for the each cell and then using average we have the uh, middle point and we're going to flatten them and attractor points we're going to draft and we should find the, the distance between these two points i just need to check the data three okay since we have a uh, 4900 um, middle points we have to make uh, this data tree uh, um, to have the same branch as we have these uh, middle points so we just need to uh, flip the matrix okay so inside each branch we have the distances for each of these uh, uh, middle point we have the distances to all of these um, attractor points and we need to find the closest one so let's sort
When we have this list here, we have to find what position of each of these um, distance in the original uh, list here. We can uh, find these values by cal pattern of the this list here and we are going to use this pattern uh, this was the most important part because we divided uh, all uh, cells into 64 uh, branches because we have 64 attractors the closest um, middle points uh, to each attractor are located in the one branch so for example this point here has 26 points i can visualize this to show you what i mean as you can see here we need to find um, uh, these distances and based on this distance we're going to extrude uh, each cell These are distances. Can remap. First, we can remap to domain 0 to 1 to make a better, um, smoother transition of the extrusion. Uh, this is the source uh, domain. These are the values we're going to remap. And the uh, target domain is uh, 0 to 1. Then we can create a graph mapper uh, Bezier let's see something like this and remap again and this is the value 0 to 1 and uh, we want to extrude um, Okay, so the middle point of the cell, which is closest to the attractor, it's going to be the most extruded. So let's say 0 0.1. And the uh, furthest is going to be 0 0.01. Then extrude. Uh, direction it's going to be normal vector which is this one here so this is the vector and the amplitude of the vector it's uh, this value here okay and because the data tree looks like this we need to create the same data tree for for the these cells and but right now it looks like this so we have to call uh, call and the pattern is the same as here okay if I check all right this is the uh, data tree which we want and then connect with the uh, with the surface which we want to extrude let's see the result and definitely we have to change the uh, this domain here if it's one let's see how it looks now okay if you want to get more dense uh, this grid uh, you can change um, these sliders here but uh, I don't want to do it now if you want feel free to change this part here okay guys that would be all for today's tutorial I hope you enjoyed I would like to invite you to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already as we upload the new videos every week if you have any questions about this tutorial feel free to put in the comment section down below 
As I mentioned in the beginning of this tutorial, all who leave a comment below first and click on the link in the description will get on email this definition free of charge. Also, I would like to send special thanks to Javi, Greg, Kyla, Angelo, GS and Dobina. They are our new Patreon supporters. If you found our channel helpful, you can support us so we can bring more interesting tutorials every week. Until next time, see you soon and take care. Thank <laughs> you.